We are in. Come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson. Welcome to Gen TV. All right, Leo, what do you need to know about love? What guidance has the universe got for you in love? Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings. It's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. You can also purchase them via my website, gentivtarot.com, or if you join my channel. Each has its own perks, but the best price would probably be from Patreon. Leah, well, yeah, what do you need to know about love? What guidance has the universe got for you in love? I'm going to need a bit of clarifying here, but you are at the end of a cycle in your life that has sucked. Oh my lord, this has sucked, but you're at the end of that cycle now. The cause of it is because finally you've learned how to set your boundaries. You've learned how to say no. Uh-uh. Hell no. You finally learn how to stand up for yourself and set your boundaries and mean them. And the universe is going, hmm, I think they actually mean it this time. So this is what you need to know right now. The sun. So the sun's here. The sun's a lovely card. It's a wonderful, look at it. Oh, the sun's shining. It's a lovely day. Sunflowers, people looking at each other in love, happiness companionship all right what do you need to know right now why is the sun here well now that you've set your boundaries you're ready for the next part of your journey now that you've stopped chasing Trying to think of a good word for it. Mist, fog, fantasies. Now that you've stopped chasing that, now that you've stopped being in that energy of needing somebody else to fill a void in your life, to be happy, now that you're out of that energy, now that you, you're letting that go, Now you can be happy. And it's not easy to get to that point. You have to go through some stuff to get to that point. I had to have uh, been seriously burnt, even like by hellfire, <laughs> just like never gonna put your hand in that fire again you know what you don't want and you know when that feeling comes of getting something again that you don't want you're like mm -ah, this is the boundary that i'm not gonna cross now no we're not going through another dodgy cycle we're done with this The bad luck's done with. What else do you need to know right now? Because you stop, you put the brakes on. You, you stopped and you put the brakes on and you've gone away. Okay, so what's going on? What's my life path here? It's like taking your time, seeing where you want to be, seeing the kind of person that you want to be with. And again, I'm saying, You've decided now on what your boundaries are and what you're not going to live with. And you put on the brakes. And when it looks like someone's about to cross that boundary, you want to know why. You want to know who this person is. 
what their motivations are. Why are they behaving in that way? Nothing to do with you. And if anything, you're like, oh, I can like I fully admit to my own toxic behavior. I can see what it is. And that's why I can put the brakes on because I know when I'm being toxic. Owning it. You're owning your toxic behavior and saying that's that's not who I'm going to be. And when that comes around, when when you get to that point, then you can really have a proper relationship. That's healthy, right? You need to know right now. Yeah, King of Cups. Cups are about love and emotions. So maybe a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces type person. This is one of the difficult things because I don't feel like this person opens up emotionally. Well, at the bottom of the deck there. This person, I don't feel like they open up emotionally very quickly. And this is like one of your toxic behaviors is like, I want to know. And uh, my wig's itchy. So. <laughs> Such a good wig. You're like, I want to know what's going on in their head. But they're taking their time with it as well. I think this person is probably maybe a little bit more healed than uh, than what you're used to dealing with. So uh, you're keeping yourself in check by when their behavior makes you feel a bit anxious. You're like, well, that's, that's crossing my boundary. Nope. Take a step back. And then when you do the same... They do the same. They're taking a step back. Not rushing things. Looking before you leap. Not getting into silly arguments uh, because... I mean, that's what happens when a, a relationship's unhealthy. You pick things apart. For no reason and all that's going on two healed people getting into relationships just like mm, boundaries we don't need to argue about that a totally irrational thing do we great or oh I just did something completely irrational. I do apologize. I see it. I see my own toxic behavior. <laughs> Sorry about that. Rewind. Start again. We've come to the end of what you need to know right now. What's coming up in the near future? Oh yeah. Four of Wands, eh? Happiness and harmony, possibly marriage. 11, 11, manifesting what you desire. Let's have a look, shall we? Why is the four of wands in the uh, near future here? No! You can take five cards. Oh, damn, lift the lid off my Sharpie. I'm sorry, one of them is confusing me. Why is the page of cups in reverse here? One card. That's making a lot of sense, actually. So, yeah, what's coming up in the near future? Oh, this is a connection. This is, I'm just seeing, you know, these people 
it's more of a feeling of I've known you all my life than actually knowing someone all your life. He's offering her this cup full of this glorious plant. He's he's offering her this a commitment. What's not on the table though is, is this, which is like, oh, I don't know, that's, that's a bit, is that realistic? Can we get into a relationship without, without that? And I think that's one of the things is that you're not rushing things here and getting to know each other without that distraction. Is it realistic? Can you? Yeah, I, you know, just, just thinking about it for a second there. I know it's a very important part of a relationship when you're in a long-term relationship with someone. Yep, it's very, very important. But has it helped you in the past just jumping straight into bed with somebody? Or is it better to take it really slowly and find out if you like this person first? You've got an itch to scratch. You don't want to be gaining an itch. If you know what I'm getting at with that. I don't know. I just think, you know, I'm 42 years old. I've played the field. I've been around the block a few times. I feel like learning from my own experiences, you pick up a lot of energy you don't need going around the block a few times. And if I could, I would erase far more than half. <laughs> I'd probably just leave one or two on there in my uh, notches on my bedpost. I'm not going to tell you my body count, but uh, yeah, I, I, I'd probably just keep one or two on there. Because you don't need those other people's energy in your life. You pick it up and you take it with you and then you got to try and find a way of getting rid of it even though you know sometimes you don't know you're carrying it. I think it's a really good idea to not jump into bed with somebody straight away and actually just I don't know, go old school about it. Not like sort of, we must be married first, but definitely get to know each other. Best you can hope, well, because of this, because of the lessons that you've learned, because uh, that you're sticking to it now and sticking to your boundaries, you're, you're letting go of painful things from your past. Just, you know, leaving it to experience. And like, All right, you know, that's what that was. I've learned from it, moving on. You've been hurt. You've been betrayed. And now, you know, you've got ten swords in your back. It's all right. I think I think you're done now. I don't think you need any more swords. I don't think, you know, looks like that dark night's over and the snow's starting to slow down and looks like the sun's coming up in the, uh, in the distance there. And uh, that terrible night or experience or whatever it was that put you there you're done with that now you're done with that cycle yeah the future's looking clearer you're moving forwards now 
out of those choppy waters into the more still waters, moving towards the next part of your journey. The two of wands there, that's sort of like after the battle, the calm, that's you're still sort of ready to battle. You're still like, what is it, a uh, berserker mode? You're still you're coming, slow, calming down from berserker mode, but if you got a, if you got a battle, you will. Just saying that because it's next to the, uh... but you are moving on. So that's another reason why you got to take it slowly because, you know, trauma, PTSD, whatever it is, you just got to uh, ease yourself in. So what's on its way out? Meeting up with people who don't know what they want and then they end up ghosting you and making you feel like you're not good enough. That's on its way out. You're at the end of that part of your journey. What's coming in is mm, someone who's maybe a lot more sure of themselves and they're not going to business with any of that kind of behavior either. So, you know, you're taking it slowly with someone. That doesn't mean you're not uh, letting them know what page they're on with you. You're just saying, yes, uh, let's just really slowly read this book. <laughs> you're almost there. You're almost there. It's been a hard journey, but you're almost there. Okay, High Priestess. It's like, I don't know, I just, I just feel like... There's just some surprises in store. Good ones, you know? I don't think, like, maybe the future's gonna hold exactly what you want. I sort of feel like it's more gonna be what you didn't know you wanted. And you'll be pleasantly surprised. If that makes any sense to you. The outcome here, I'm gonna read this outcome then I'm gonna take it and say extended. I don't really see anyone in particular who's jumping out, maybe a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Possibly. I will ask about them. Who are they? Uh, when are you going to meet them? Have you already met them? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe? Well, let's have a look. Why is six of ones in reverse for the outcome here? Because you're not going to chase anymore. That's I got to show you this. So, so this is your nine of cups. This is your wish fulfillment. This is what you really want. And what I've just said is, you know, you might actually get something that you're not wishing for, but you didn't realize you wanted it. But it's going to be good. I sort of feel like with this here, it's almost like you're not going to be obsessively chasing after what you think you want anymore. You're going to surrender. Surrender to the divine. It almost just feels like it's less confusing that way. This also uh, this edge of not rushing into um, an intimate relationship with somebody. It's not exactly what you thought it would be, what you thought you would want, but it, it just looks like it's turning out to be what you do want.
the time to give rather than take. I don't think that that is... I, I, I actually kind of feel that's not giving to other people, if that makes any sense to you at all. I sort of feel like it's more giving yourself more <laughs> giving yourself more credit yeah but like giving yourself more time giving yourself more um when it says rather than take I, I i sort of feel like it's not self-deprecating i feel like that's taken away from itself it's 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 not talking yourself you know down and saying bad things about yourself Oh, I'm fat, I'm stupid, I'm ugly, I'll never be this, I'll never be that. You're, it, it's less of that. I sort of feel like you're going to give yourself more positivity. That's one of your boundaries now that you need to set for yourself is is more, more of the positive talk towards yourself. Oh, here we go. I've got two ducks decks that look the same at the moment. Oops, yeah. Real love lyric for the day. Many, many, many nights go by. I sit alone at home and cry over you. What can I do? Can't help myself. Baby, it's you. Sha -na 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 -na. Baby, it's you. This is what it's called, isn't it? Yeah, baby, it's you by the Beatles. All right, thanks for joining me. I'm going to take the six and see you later.